Hi, this is Ozzy Griffin here. Uh, this is a video response about my 10th take, uh, where I don't just wind up yelling. Um, I'm trying to do a response to a guy who I think is just a troll, um, Rumford Chippenstein. I figured, why go back and forth in a pointless YouTube comment section when we can bring it out to the public? You should make a video response yourself, except you haven't got uh, access to a camera by the look of it. So, get access to a camera, bring it on. Um, so yeah, Ayn Rand had a couple good points to her philosophy. Um, be objective about things, be honest about your accomplishments. Um, you know, don't overtax somebody uh, or put unreasonable demands on someone who is actually being of a benefit to everybody else. Um, that's fine. Yeah, I can dig it. You know. Unless you can see an antisocial side to somebody's profits. Um, you know, why let that slide? You know, and depending on what you use as money. Anyhow, so, here's my shtick though. Here's where we lost you. The definition of altruism, you brought it up, is like, oh, well, you don't know the definition of altruism, that just means that's something animals do, you know? I'm like, yeah, and the definition is still the same. It's not cynical manipulation. And it's not public relations work. A is A, as Ayn Rand would say. So, those are first principles. Altruism is altruism is alt altruism. Until you can prove and show quantifiably that it is something else, it is altruism. If you're going to show how it is different, that's fine. I went into my justifications, because I can't speak for anyone else, and neither can you, by the way. You can only speak for yourself and your take on things. Remember that. So, yeah. Altruism is a case of finding, it, it's really not about who you will work with and who you will not. It's really just about <clears throat> making sure that you're not doing the wrong thing. That's it. That's really all it is. Because if you study epigenetics, if you study, I think it was Gabor Mate was the guy's name. I'll have to double check that. Um, if you study how human beings grow and why they flourish and why cells divide the way they do and specialize as they do, you really find out that human beings are very, very much products of our environment. So to create a better environment or to foster personal growth in individuals, to have better individuals around you. I've already gone on over this in my response to uh, Fringe Elements telling them why I was unsubscribing. I... I really have to say... You, you really are trying to sell it. You're like, no, people are selfish, they're self-interested. Yeah, tell me something I don't know. It doesn't mean you can't do nice stuff. It's really sad to see someone so dedicated to their belief that everyone is as selfish as you want them to believe they are. I mean, <clears throat> in a word, they're not. People... Some people, there, there's a minority of people around about six, about three to about six percent at most of people on the planet who are sociopaths, who are socialized psychopaths. Literally a big chunk of their brain doesn't work. They have no mirror neurons. They see somebody get punched in the guts and like, yeah, and? The rest of us see, that's like 95% of the human population see someone get punched in the guts. And on some level, some more expressive than others, they feel like they're being punched in the guts. Most of those people, 95% of the human population, will say, will say that when you do something nice to someone else, they feel good. That's it. That's the simple thing of it. If you want to just say, well, that's just a chemical reaction, fine. As I think it was Darren Brown, famous hypnotist, skeptic, and uh, all around decent bloke, um, would say, if religion makes you feel good, eh, alright, fine, whatever. 
a bunch of people feeling good in ways that detriment nobody. And you're terrified of it. You're a sad, sad human being, mate. Do something nice to somebody. Don't ask for a reward. And look at them smile. And don't try and explain anything. Just say, it's not like you're doing something nice. And just leave it at that. That's it. Just say, it's not like you're doing something nice. It made you smile. Yeah, well, that's all I want. Walk off. That's it. See how you feel. See how you feel. If you don't feel anything, then I pity you. You're either traumatized, antisocial, or you're a psychopath. That's it. And maybe you should ask yourself, how did you feel when somebody did something nice for you when they didn't have to? When they, when it put them out? When it cost them something? And they asked for nothing in reward? I guarantee you somebody has. 95% of the human population probably would try, given, uh, given material empowerment and a lack of a pressing threat behind them. And that's why I couldn't get behind Ayn Rand. No one person has all the answers. I don't have all the answers. You damn well don't. And when you say that altruism is destroying humanity by propping up people that will only ever uh, serve to stab you in the back, I pity you. Same way I pitied fringe elements. You gotta connect with other people. If people have hurt you, I'm sorry. However, that's a very, very, very small minority. Anyway. I hope this has connected you to some things here. Check out the links in the description box if you want some hard science. I'll talk to you later.